Peace and blessings, family. Peace and blessings. It's Prophet Yaqeem. And God just put this word on my spirit today saying that he will protect you. He will protect you. Because I feel it in the spirit that the spirit of fear, the spirit of doubt, the spirit of worry, just the spirit of lack is just coming against God's people heavy. And God is telling you just to draw near to him. If you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. In Jesus' name. We're going to start with Mark 12 and 30. And it says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. So you have to ask yourself the right questions. See, when you in fear, when you in doubt, when you worrying about things, you have to be more into your word. That is God telling you to draw closer to him. That's God telling you to seek him out more. Are you reading your Bible? Are you praying? Are you fasting? Are you fellowshipping? Are you living a repenting life? Because if you being disobedient and you are dwelling in sin, of course you're going to have fears because you're being tormented by demons. The demons are trying to torment you. And they bring in the shame, the guilt, they're trying to make make it make you feel like you're not worthy, isolate you from God. But if you're not being disobedient, that is God telling you he wants you to seek him more. He wants you to seek him more and be more obedient. So you got and you gotta just remember the times God came through for you. When you thought he wasn't gonna come through for you, when you thought everybody when everybody was coming against you in your life, but God was just he stayed faithful. He stayed faithful for you. You just know that he will protect you. God does not forsake the righteous. He never forsake the righteous. That is in Psalms 37 and 25. It says, I have been young and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. See, the righteous, God will not forsake his children. God will not forsake the righteous. If you are denying your flesh, being obedient to the word of the Lord, keeping Jesus Christ's law, statutes, and commandments, God will not forsake you. Even if you feeling like he's not there, for God is not a feeling, he's there all the time. Jesus Christ is with you all the time. No matter if you don't feel his presence, you gotta call upon God's presence in your life. You gotta pray to receive God's presence in your life, right? Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with that joy. Be filled with that peace. You know, you got to ask God that he can come inside your vessel and fill you up with the Holy Spirit. And he will. And 2 Timothy 1 and 7, it says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So, if you're not having a sound mind because the spirit of fear is the opposite of faith, you have to pray to God and ask him, how can I receive a sound mind, Lord? What am I not doing that you want me to do? How can I get that love in my heart? How can I feel, feel the power of your presence in my life? Just ask God, I promise you, he's going to reveal it to you. Make sure that your heart and your mouth reflect the same things. No, don't be praying blank prayers. Like, don't say anything you really don't mean. No, really talk to God honestly and sincerely. Because he already knows your heart. He already knows what you're going through. He sees the good and the evil. He sees all, I promise you. All right? For he says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will help thee. I will strengthen thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. That's Isaiah 41 and 10. You got to meditate on these scriptures day and night. I promise you, they help so much. It helps so much. But God will protect you. I promise you. He will protect you. So if you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. Remember, disobedience opened up doors, opened up portals. 
evil communications, corrupt good manners. So sometimes you got to just isolate yourself. Get off the phone a little bit. You know? Get off the tablets. Get off the social media. Whatever is hindering you, your relationship with God. Because you... We spend all this time being engaged in technology, being engaged in distractions. And that's how the devil can come in and try to steal your joy, steal your peace, steal the love of God in your heart. But you got to just allow God into your life. You got to want God in your life. And he will protect you. He will protect you, I promise you. So I pray this word bless you. I pray that you receive edification from this word again. God does not give us the spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, of peace, and of a sound mind, and of power, and of power. Amen. Hallelujah. All praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And again, peace and blessings, and God bless you.